going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. I'm bringing you guys another episode of our Pokemon Ultra Sun Shiny Lock. If you guys are high for this episode, show some love with that like button down below and definitely be sure to subscribe if you are new. I was just about to heal up to start this episode and we have Pokerus. Pokerus is, of course, a rare virus, rarer than finding a Shiny, uh, that actually increases the EVs that your Pokemon receive in battle. We actually found Pokerus while I was hunting for our most recent Shiny, which is Stuffle. So, I'm healing up the team here. Stuffle, if you missed it, we got it on our live stream. I said it the last episode, <clears throat> I was thinking about going for Larvitar, but I thought about it, and I was like, you know what, Stuffle will be really good because it is a, a fighting type Pokemon, and I think that'll pair really well uh, with some of the other types on my team. Uh, so, I thought it was kind of cool, and also it'll really help out against kind of the upcoming uh, upcoming battle so I don't oh yeah so it looks like a couple Pokemon do have Pokerus if you can see uh, and they ran out already like Pokerus is already gone so I'm thinking that Firo contracted the Pokerus um, and it's got it in the Pokemon Pokemon PC here let me take a look yeah so the Firo contracted Pokerus while I was hunting for Stuffles so that's kind of cool so now I have Pokerus in this game and I got it legitimately that's pretty sweet but either way let's check out that reaction for the Johnny Stuffle now we're getting our next one before the the electric trial, which I guess I could technically wait. Like I could definitely technically wait, but we don't get our next shiny. Yo, yes, yes, shiny stuffle, <laughs> 60 encounters, dude. Our SOS luck continues, dude. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so now that you've seen me freak out over a stuffle, we're gonna keep it rock and rolling here. I'm actually gonna turn the experience share off because I do feel like we're a little bit over leveled. This game is very, very tricky, and I do want to talk about this topic a little bit here. Actually, I'm like way farther away than I thought I was gonna be. Uh, let's fly down to here, and we'll get kind of going. But I do want to talk about this because this is like one of the biggest struggles ever since I started doing YouTube for Pokemon and Let's Plays in general is just the idea of like, the gameplay isn't uh, like hard anymore, so it's not entertaining to watch. And that is like the biggest struggle I have as a Let's Player, I guess, on YouTube, in my opinion, is reading comments of people saying, dude, you're overleveled, or you used X items, or whatever it was that I did to give myself a chance to, to continue through the game. And this isn't really necessarily talking about the Shiny Lock, per se. Uh, it's more talking about the Ghost Lock. Um, and the Ghost Lock is actually pretty far recorded at this point in time i think today is episode 37 is going up today something like that so i've recorded up to about 45 ish i think i haven't beaten the game yet but i have recorded uh, a decent amount of the ways through um i can't tell you how things go of course but uh you know things have gone interestingly enough and 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 the thing that's frustrating let me actually give him brick break here because that'll give him a good fighting type move um but it's it's such a struggle because uh, at the end of the day, my objective when I do a Let's Play is for it to be entertaining, obviously. That should always be number one, and I, I definitely always try to keep that in mind. But I also need to get through the Let's Play, and when it comes to the Ghost Lock, uh, specifically the Ghost Lock, um, there is obviously a desire, with the Ghost Lock being my first ever playthrough of this game, there's a pretty big desire on my end to beat the game. Uh, not only beat the game, but to get through the whole game, be able to explore every facet of it. Um, and, and I can't do that if I lose at, you know, Nanu's trial, because then, like, the whole playthrough is over, and I never got a chance to fully play through the game the first time, so I do everything in my power to make it through the game on the Nuzlocke, and uh, I've been reading a lot of the comments lately, and they've been super, um, saddening, I guess, to say, uh, how many people are just like, yo, A-Drive, like, you know, this isn't entertaining to watch anymore, because you're always, you're always, like, destroying the competition, and I'm just like, but, but, dude, like, <laughs> What am I supposed to- if this knocks me out, I'm gonna be really salty, actually. Uh, I don't- I think it might. Oh my goodness, good job, Pooh. Way to live that. Um, but I'm like, no! Like, dude, I'm- I'm trying to get through the game, and in the Ghost Lock specifically, I've, you know, turned off the experience share on and off throughout the playthrough, and tried to figure out different things like that to- to make it more challenging and stuff, and there's only so much you can do. And it's such a conflict, because, like I said, the objective is to get through the playthrough, uh, but simultaneously, I, I get where people are coming from and the fact that, you know, they want it to be entertaining. So, it's so hard to find that balance. So just understand that I, I have, I do acknowledge the things that people are saying. I do get it. And, uh, I, I just hope you guys realize that I do what I can, but there's some things that I can and cannot control. And again, I'm always trying to just get through the playthrough as well. Like, I always want to get through it 
We don't want to see the team get absolutely decimated. And just because a few episodes we have some pretty good success getting through it, that doesn't mean that, you know, all it takes is one battle that can really just rip through a team. So, uh, like at the beginning of this playthrough, we, you know, had a couple lost lives on, on, on you know, Grubbin, and, and now he's only got one life left, and I'm trying to get him to Vikavolt so we can use that, and all it takes is one one misstep and, and he's gone. So, I don't know, it's just something I wanted to talk about because I want you guys to know that, uh, you know, I, I'm not responding to it in the ghost lock again because I am a little bit more ahead there. Um, but I do recognize it and I do my best as a creator to try to have the game be challenging, but there's only so much I can do in a standard playthrough of a game to make it challenging when, with like, just generally speaking, I'm very competitively minded, so I know the game really well. I know competitive Pokemon really well. I have a huge understanding of what Pokemon moves are, what what every Pokemon has. So the only way that a game like this is going to be a challenge to me is if I randomize it. I mean, that's really the only way. Um, and I will tell you guys, I am working on a randomizer uh, for Ultra Sun and Moon. Um, I'm, I'm working on it right now. Well, not necessarily me, but I have a team of people working on it. And that is going to be one of my projects coming out in the next few months. So, um, you know, just kind of hang tight. And I hope you enjoy the series that I'm doing in the meantime, I guess. Uh, and I hate to take up all this time on this this video to talk about this stuff. But I really wanted to talk about it and kind of just address it. Because I felt like it was pretty important. Now, this is a tough battle. Arshin is really scary. Uh, so, anyway, I got an interesting question of the day today. And this is a pretty important question of the day. So, I'm kind of curious on your thoughts here. What starter type do you usually pick? When you pick your starter Pokemon... Uh, if you have a fire, water, grass starter option, what type do you usually pick and why? Does it? Do you have a type that you typically bias towards? Uh, does it matter the game? Is there a certain, like what, do I have a berry on this thing? Oh no, I was going to say, is he about to pluck my berry? Because that'd be kind of funny. Um, but what what would you guys normally lean towards? Like I said, do you, is there a certain type? Do you prefer fire types? Do you prefer water types? Do you prefer grass types? Uh, is it a matter of design? Um, I don't know. Like, for me, if I go through all the starters of every generation, I think the trend, for me, leans towards Grass-type Pokemon, which is kind of funny, because I don't really have, like, that much of a... Like, I don't really like Grass-type Pokemon that much. Uh, Venishock is a great move, by the way. We'll get rid of Bite. That was one of the big moves we need to learn, because that's going to be really powerful. Um... So it's not like I like grass types particularly more than anything else. It's just, it seems like I just happen to pick the grass types more. So like when I think about it, like Generation 1, I love Charmander and I love Bulbasaur. Squirtle's cool, but I love Charmander and I love Bulbasaur. So it's kind of a 50-50 for me, um, which one I like more. I think I'm going to lean towards Charmander. I love Charmander. Charmeleon's awesome. Charizard is, everyone loves Charizard pretty much. Um, it's probably one of the most beloved Pokemon. Uh, when it comes to Generation 2, I much prefer Chikorita. I don't really like um, Bayleaf. Meganium's okay. Uh, but I don't really like Cyndaquil or Totodile that much, to be honest. So that's why I kind of lean towards... Uh, towards Chikorita. So Chikorita is my Gen 2 pick. Gen 3, I love Trico. I don't like Torchic and I don't really like Mudkip. Um, I know that might be an unpopular opinion, but that's kind of my thoughts there. So that, that one's pretty easy for me to, pretty easy to work with. Um, what do I want to do here? Do I want to go to Pennywise, take some poison moves? No. Let's go to... Fox is a decent idea, I think. Because I could take the... Yeah, let's go to Fox here. Um, so that's Gen 3 is Trico by far. Gen 4... Uh, is what? Turtwig, Chimchar, Piplup, I think, right? Uh, for Turtwig, Chimchar, Piplup, I like Turtwig the most. Um, I think Chim- I've grown to like Chimchar more. I didn't really like Chimchar before, but I do like Chimchar more now than I did before. Like I said, so, I've grown to like Chimchar. I don't really like Piplup that much, so, I think Turtwig would take it there again. So, another- another Grass-type victory there. And then, um, between Snivy, Tepig, and- and Oshawott, I think Duwat is amazing, but I don't like Samurai, and I really can't stand Gen 5 starters. I'm not a fan of Gen 5 starters. Um, so to me on that one, like, I feel like I go, I go Snivy again, because, um, like, Snivy's pretty cool, and Superior is cool, Servine's okay, so I mean, I, I think that that's kind of the way I would go there. Um, again, like, I'm not stoked on Gen 5 starters, they are definitely my least favorite. When it comes to Gen 6 starters, I think Froakie's awesome, Greninja's really cool, I- Fennekin's cool, but I hate Delphox, and, uh, Chespin 
is uh, is my favorite. And I love Quilladin. I know Quilladin is like not a fan favorite, but I think Quilladin looks awesome. So he's like this little chestnut dude. He's just like kind of this big bulky dude. And Chestnut's okay, but I like Chespin the most, and, and my wife's favorite Pokemon is Chespin. So uh, that's kind of where I'm at with those starters. And then when it comes to uh, the starters here, I mean, Rowlet to me is much, much better than Poplio and Litten. And I mean, I like Litten. I love Torcat. Torcat's incredible. Torcat, out of the nine options, like, you know, first line, second line, Final Evolution between the three starters in Alola, Torcat is number one above Rowlet, above. Decidueye, it's, it's Torracat's the best in my opinion, but um, I like the Rowlet line more. So it's it's like, for me, after saying all that out loud, it's like Grass Types reign supreme, it feels like. Uh, I love this little Doug Trio there. Uh, grass Types kind of reign supreme, um, and, and that's kind of just, I don't know, kind of like a thing. But here's uh, Looker. Ah, uh, Mr. Looker, a trial going trainer, you see. I travel the world and many lands do I visit. Alola is a nice place and very peaceful. I was just in Coney Coney. All right. The concerns I have of uh, Pokemon something, this here's a Thunderstone. Oh, well, thanks for the Thunderstone, man. A uh, fun fact, if you guys hunt for Zerkatree later in the game, uh, the place where you find Zerkatree, there's like Thunderstones hidden all over the ground. Uh, someone told me that on my live stream, and I was like, oh, this is sweet, and I just like picked up like a bunch of Thunderstones. Uh, let's battle this dude here. Let's see what he's got going on. I haven't had any cases, so I'm bored. How about a battle? And I do know that you can do like the Ditto 5 and stuff here, but I'm going to kind of just... Avoid that, and I need to go get the item called the Eviolite, which is located in the next town. Eviolite is an incredible item, and we're gonna use it on prob. I mean, we have. So I need. I, I wish I had like five Eviolites because our whole team would benefit from it. But I think it's gonna go to maybe Pooh. Let's see how we handle a Herdier here. Can I beat a Herdier? I mean, we're a little bit under leveled, but let's see how this goes. It's gonna go for workout. This is actually kind of a tough battle. Herdier is pretty strong. Let's see how much our our Brick Break does. Uh, that did a sizable chunk, I guess. Let's find out. He's gonna go for takedown. Let's see how much he does to us. Yo, Pooh, you're kind of a beast. I don't think we're gonna knock him out, though, no. Uh, what do I switch into? I need something to take this hit. A takedown. From a plus one hurtier. I don't know if I have anything. Let's actually heal. Let's actually heal up. Super potion. Yeah, let's super potion up, because then if, if he takes down twice, he gets he knocks himself out. And if he goes for like work up, I can live and just brick break. So he misses. That works too. I'll take that. Hit him with a brick break again. And he'll knock himself out. Uh, or we'll we'll knock him out here. Sweet. Yo, stuff will super cute, man. Look, he just like falls over every time he attacks. I love it. I love it. Good job, Pooh. Little Pooh Bear. Alright. I think, dude, we have so many. I think Eviolite's gonna go to Stuffle because of the upcoming battle, where we have to beat, um, what's her name? Olivia. So I think it makes sense to give it to Stuffle. So I think that's probably what I'm gonna do. It's probably what I'm gonna do. Look at the little deli bird flying away. It's Christmas, man. Almost Christmas. There's a big Probo Pass. Probo Pass. Deli bird, yo, this is like a secret deal going on here. Deli bird's like, yo, Probo Pass. Take this package here, head into the shop, and keep it a secret, all right? I need this on the down low, all right? Don't be telling anybody about my secret, okay? I'm gonna sneak you this little package here. I need you to keep this on the DL, because you, you can't do it. You can't do it. So, anyway, back to the question of the day. Let me know what starter type you usually pick and kind of what makes you make that decision. Uh, and this, like I said, it is an important, important topic. Important topic. So let's grab that EV light, which is gonna be right out here I believe and I think it's behind this chick here yeah the Eviolite such a good item all right let's give that to yeah like I said I think giving it to Stuffle is gonna be really good like that's actually pretty sick Stuffle not only has Fluffy I never even showed you guys what Stuffle had going on let me show you guys his stats and stuff because I don't think I ever took the time to do that um so we got Brick Break Bide, Baby Doll Eyes, Brutal Swing. Had a pretty good nature in uh, Careful Nature, which is plus Special Defense, minus uh, Special Attack. So that makes him really specially bulky. Uh, and he's got the Fluffy ability, which is awesome, because that reduces the damage from, uh, you know, physical, like, contact attacks. And um, it does make me weak to fire, but I feel like with the team I have, it's not too big of a deal. So shouldn't be too, pro too problematic for us. All right, here's Pro Pass. No pass. You cannot. You shall not pass. Gandalf the Gray. Gandalf the White, dude. 
Oh, he's heading upstairs. He's got them secret strats. What are you doing, Promo Pass? What will we do here? Pass? Medicine? Oh, well, thank you for the medicine. Who's that for? Oh, a max potion. Is it for me? Do I get to keep it? Pass, pass. All right. Well, let's get the heck out of here. See you later. All right, so let's uh, book it to some TMs. We can talk to the TM dude. This guy's just got TMs all over the place. What do you got, buddy? Vetishock, Airlay, Slow Sweep, Steel Wing, Boulders. Hmm. I think um, Air Lace would be worth it for Fletchinder. So that could be really good. Low sweep, pretty good for little little bear dude. Um, let's get Air Lace. I don't want to get low sweep too, because I feel like I should save save my money right now. Um, Alright, but we will teach Air Lace. Oh, and, and uh, little Stubble can learn it too, so that's pretty cool. We can give it a peck now. We can get rid of Peck. And let me give it to... Nope, not Pennywise. Definitely don't want to teach to Pennywise. That's a wasted slot. Let's give it to Pooh. It's not a bad move, and it'll never miss. So we'll give, get rid of Bide. I'm just going to take a quick second break here to blow my nose. All right, we're back. Um, So, yeah, we got Aerial Ace now on Pooh. Good to go. And we're going to keep our way going. We're going to head to... Taking Olivia. I don't think we're gonna get to Olivia on this episode, but pretty soon either way. We got a couple battles ahead. So we'll train up Pooh, battle some of these people over here. Who wants to throw down? Any of you? You wanna battle, lady? Let's battle. I'll battle you. I'll battle you. Which Pokemon do you think is going to the grave? Well, then, we'll see, I guess. We'll see what it's gonna be. Look, she's so creepy. Why are you just chilling in a graveyard, old lady? Oh, she's got a fur fru. Oh, it's all dressed up and stuff. Dude, I hate fur fru. Look at little Stuffle. So cute. All right, that's a pretty high level fur fru. Let's go for Brick Break and see how much it does. Probably not gonna do much though, because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be fur coat, and it's really gonna do like nothing. Uh, okay, that did a sizable amount of damage. Tail whip again. Is that always gonna do to me? Is just tail whip me? Lower my defenses. Weaken me. Okay, let's go for another brick. I'm just gonna keep brick breaking until he does something. Let's see how much his headbutt does. Yo, we tanked that though. We just tanked that headbutt. And for. Come on, lady. Why you gotta do that to me? Why you gotta have the full restores? Wait, that's annoying. That's kind of annoying. Headbutt again. Alright, now we're gonna have to switch. Oh boy, Pooh. Hang in there, buddy. Alright, so we did some good damage to this thing. Alright, let's go into... Let's go into Venomax, I think. Do I want to go to Venomax? Yeah, let's go to Venomax. Because I feel like we could take the hit pretty well. I could Toxic it. And then kind of go from there. He's going to Headbutt. Yikes, that did a lot. Okay, let's go for Toxic and hope I don't get... Uh, flinched. Well, that's a bummer. To Fox we go! <laughs> uh, this could be a problem, actually. I may have to go back and, excuse me, into Stuffle. All right, he's gonna headbutt. Can you just burn yourself? Yeah! There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Burn! Take that burn to the face. All right, let's go for, uh, let's go for Flame Charge. Oh, he's fasting. Well, that's why flame. He flinched me again, dude. It's like the flinch god Furfru over here. Come on, Furfru. Ain't about that life, dude. Dude! You're kidding me. Like, is this some kind of cruel joke that I was not made aware of? Oh my goodness. Bro! Dude! Three in a row! What is that? Like, what, dude? This dude's burning, he just flinched me three times, four times in a row technically, because he flinched me on the Marini too. These 30% flinches are just nuts. Alright, I'm quick attacking, because I'm not going to get flinched this time. It may not do much, but with burn it might knock him out. Or not. Or not. 
Alright, well now I'll knock him out. No full restores this time, lady. Oh, it went for baby doll eyes. Predicting the quick attack. Alright, we got rid of the fur fruit. That was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. Totally unnecessarily difficult. Fox to 24, though. Pooh is gonna get to 20, which is pretty solid. And a Comfey. Oh my god, this lady's got the most annoying team in the world. It's official. Uh, let's go for Flame Charge, see how much it does. Sing, dude, why? Why must you confuse me? This trainer is so obnoxious. So obnoxious. There you go. Big Flame Charge. It did approximately zero. Like, approximately zero. That was nuts. Um, ooh, what do I do? I mean, obviously, Toxic with Venomax is solid. Let's go to Venomax. I don't think Comfey can one-shot me. So, I'm gonna go to Venomax, because if I Toxic it, then we'll just beat it that way. I'll have to heal, but... Here's Rap. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's not good. I think we're gonna live. Okay. I hate this trainer. I hate this trainer! Alright, if I Toxic this Comfey... I meant to use Toxic Spikes earlier against the fur fruit, but it flinched me. Well, I would have toxic and then I would have toxic spike, but still. This lady's so annoying. How can you be so annoying, lady? All right, toxic. And we don't have to worry about missing because we are a poison type, which is very nice. This poison type's coming in clutch. Big toxic here, there you go. Now you're toxic. Now you're poisoned. And now you're weakened. Now I just Venice Shock your face in, dude. Because we got that Venice Shock. Let's do a Venomax. Hit him with the Venice Shock. This is going to be powerful. Ooh, the Quick Claw activates Venice Shock. Look at that. Boom. Dude, it was a crit because of Merciless, and it's always going to crit, which is amazing. There we go. We got through the crazy lady, man. Jeez. That was a bit obnoxious. That was a bit obnoxious. All right, let me heal real quick. Um, super potion, we'll get him up. Heal up, we'll heal you up. And I'll heal you up too, so everyone's healed. Cool. Alright, so let's head over here. Let's get this Pokeball. A spell tag. Just gonna boost the power of our ghost moves. Let's battle this chick here in a second too. What do we got? A phantom. I think I've told this story a bunch of times, but uh, it was in Sun and Moon, right in this area. My wife is sitting next to me and she's like, oh, I just found this Pokemon, what is it? And can you help me catch this Phantom? And I said, sure. And then I go look at it and it was a shiny Phantom, dude. <laughs> she just randomly found a shiny Phantom. Gotta love that. So, Punk Girl sounds scary, doesn't it? Uh, like, I would say mildly, mildly scary. Yes. Punk Girl Melissa. Ariados. All right, I got Aerial Ace, dude. This is pro strats. I like Ariados. It gets sticky web, gets toxic spikes. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna hit him with that aerial ace though. Boom. Wow, that does nothing. Stuffle, why are you so weak, dude? I know he's four levels above you, but like you're not doing much damage here, big dog. Maybe I just need to give you a chance. Alright. If we get lucky, this aerial ace will knock it out. And then we're gonna get a whole nother level. Yo, Stuffle's so bulky, dude. I'm excited. Fluffy and... And Eviolite. It's just not even fair. He's so bulky. There we go. Level 21. Make a progress, little guy. He's feeling good. Alright, Punk Girl Melissa. Get out of my face. So, let's work our way this way. And here is Faba and Team Skull. Oi, 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 give back that Pokemon. Slow poke. We're gonna sell this Pokemon. Stand firm, think of what the president would say. Here's a promising young trainer. Battle in my stead. Alright, looks like we're battling. Let's do it. I'm ready. I'm ready to throw down in Po Town. Big Skull. Well, not actually in Po Town. That's awkward. Okay, Team Skull, dude. What do you got for me, buddy? Eradicate, I like that. I like this battle. I just click Brick Break and it is gone, dude. It is gone. 
This Raticate is out of this world. Brick break. Hyper Fang, you missed. And you're gone. See you later, buddy. Good job, Pooh. You're a joke. Nope. You're a joke. You're a joke, Mr. Steam Skull Guy. So, alright, well that was easy enough. Quick little battle there. Phew, we saved this little Slowpoke. Slowpoke's like, yo, I didn't even know what was going on, bro. I'm deeply impressed. Why don't you come to Hanno Grand Resort? Come hang out with us there. Alright, so this is where I'm gonna wrap up for today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We got our newest Shiny Poo, of course, on our team. He's looking awesome. We got Pokerus. We worked our way to the this part of Cody Cody City or whatever, the outskirts of Akala. We're gonna do Olivia's Grand Trial in the next episode and hopefully win. And that's gonna be that for me, guys. My name is Dan. I also go by A Drop. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Thanks so much for checking out my last video. If you like that one, you'll definitely like this one. And be sure to subscribe for more as I post Pokemon videos every single day.